In part two of this series, we're asked, for the dam shown below, express the force as an integral. So in part one, we looked at two dams, and they were both rectangles. As a result, finding w at y was easy, this part. This time, we have to find what w at y is, because we have a semicircle, and we haven't been told the width. So we have to come up with a formula that represents the width and then place that formula into here. Let's see how we can do this. First of all, let's set this equation up with what we know. We know what rho is equal to, the density of 1,000 for water. Gravity is 9.8. D of y is y. And that was the case for all the other examples we did in part one. This part, however, is problematic. Let's fill this in. Force is equal to the integral between 0 and 8. Remember, y is positive this way. And it's with respect to y, so we have to use from 0 to 8. Rho is 1,000. Gravity is 9.8. D of y is y. And w of y, here's how to find it. We have a semicircle here. And I'll redraw it for clarity. If we take mini rectangles all along this shape, we would end up with different widths for every rectangle that we take. So to find the relationship between y and the width, what we can do is create a mini right triangle. We're told that from here to here, which is halfway of the semicircle, is 8 meters. So the radius has to be 8 meters. If the radius is 8 meters, then the length from here to here is also 8 meters. So I'm going to call this 8. And this, from here to here, is w. Half of that is 0.5w. And the distance from here to here, we'll just call y. Let's go ahead and use the Pythagorean theorem to relate these three sides. We have a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. c squared is 64, a to the power of 2. This is a, we'll call it y squared. And this is b, 0.5w to the power of 2. I'm going to solve for w. We have 64 minus y squared, 0.5 w to the power of 2. Square root both sides. That gets me 64 minus y squared, 0.5 w on the left side. Dividing both sides by half, we end up with 2 times this expression. And look, we just found an equation in terms of w and y. Let's substitute this equation into our growing function. The integral between 0 and 8, 9,800 y, I just multiplied these two, and our function was 2 times the square root of 64 minus y squared. And don't forget to include dy at the end. OK, my next step is to take out 9,800 times 2 outside of this expression. And I have to integrate the following. Next, what I'll do is use u substitution. So I'll set this part equal to u. u is equal to 64 minus y squared. I'll take the derivative implicitly, and I get du is equal to this goes away, it's a constant. And the derivative of this term becomes negative 2y dy. I'll need to substitute this into here. So I have du over negative 2y is equal to dy. I'll take this now and place it right here. Look what happens. We end up with force is equal to 9,800 times 2 times the integral between 0 and 8, leaving me with y times the square root of u du over negative 2y. This y cancels out with this y. Our bounds, however, are in terms of y, but this is in terms of u. So I have to find new bounds that are in terms of u. I'll have to take what my u is equal to, which was 64 minus y squared, substitute 8 and 0. 
if I substitute 8 into here, I end up with 0. So 8 has become 0. And if I substitute 0 into here, I get 64. So my new bounds are 0 and 64. 9,800 times 2. And I'll pull out my half. And now I'll take the integral of the square root of u. That's not hard to do. We'll convert it into fractions. Add 1. That gives us u to the power of 3 over 2 over 3 over 2, or 2 times u to the power of 3 over 2 over 3. 2u, 3 over 2 over 3, substituting 0 and 64. Let's start by substituting 0 and then taking whatever that product is and minusing it by what this comes out to be. Substituting 0 into here gives us 0. Minus and substituting 64 into here, that's a mystery to us. Let's find out what that is. 64 to the power of 1 over 5 divided by 3 gives me the following. 1024 over 3. And then I'm going to find out what this is. I can cross these out. Negative 9,800 times negative 1024 over 3. That gives me the following answer, 3345066. 3345066 newtons. And that is my final answer. Make sure to watch part three of the series where we tackle more examples.